morning so I'm on my way back from uh, taking the kids to uh, school and crash and I saw something really interesting that people that aren't from Bordeaux would find interesting I hope <laughs> otherwise just skip past this part so here we have some vines and here we have piles of vines that have all been ripped out it's a glorious morning with the sun by the way um, it's even better in in real life rather than on a video but you can see that in the distance maybe because the sun might be in the wrong place but you can see in the distance a mini digger I mean this guy's got skills um, mini digger it's got like a little bucket with uh, with grills on the bucket and basically he's pulling out all the vines because they're too old or no good and uh, I'm making these piles those are gonna be set fire to because there's no real other way of getting getting rid of it all so they're gonna be set fire to and then they'll pull any wire out after and take it to be recycled I was wondering where Ed was. Well, guess what? He's on his beloved digger. That's Hill's car over there. If I get Cyril's car, I can't go. <laughs> so you're gonna do it on purpose and say, if he gets his car, he can't go. Could this be a trick? Should uh, he's got his camion, he's got his uh, van, hasn't he? Yeah, I'd say he's got his van, he does have his van, so... Plus, we can't do that. So that's it. The little mountains, because we can't even call them mountains. They're being filled as we speak, by air. And bit by bit, it's getting there. flattened it all well, almost but it's like it's getting there You've done it, the path is looking good. Yeah, never mind that. You've been chatting to Bernard again. I haven't, I only just said hello. Oh, I bet you did. I had to. I always say hello to people. I know, no, I'm only joking. Um, I wanted to uh, just show you where we've got, we've been, what we've been doing this morning. Oh yes, let's go and have a look. Yep. Allez, mon petit. Ouais. T'inquiète, tu peux continuer, hein, je... c'est juste que je te dérange. Les deux, les deux. Les deux. Merci, mon petit. Il n'y a plus de lumière Oui, c'est du bon. It's going to be a reveal soon from dark to light. Look at that. Finished. Yeah, and uh, I think it's about the right height now, you know. It's a bit echoey because we've got nothing, you know, it's uh, nothing in here, but yeah, it's finished. We've just got the tiling to do. We're doing Maybe. tiling? Nice. Yeah, I need to chat to you about that, so I'm just going to go and get that in two minutes. What do you think about where we're putting the lights? About the right spot with the walls? Yeah. I mean, this is kind of almost lost space anyway, because you can't see it. Yeah, no, that, that, that is good. And then it's you've just... got your wine racks that will come through here. Mm hmm And then, generally, you'd be walking in the middle. Unless you're tall, you'd be like that. Well, I can walk until here. I mean, that's quite good. Uh, shall I just go get two tiles quickly? Make yeah. A quick decision. Yeah.
Ed's coming with goodies. Are you checking the mic? Yeah, checking the mic back on. Um, yeah so, got a question. And we've got okay. these, or uh -huh. we've got those? So it's the same. Yeah. Same as what we put outside. I love the little ones, to be honest, but whatever is easiest. Well, the little ones I think would look really old down here, mm -hmm. so that's quite good, but mm -hmm. they're a lot thicker and I'm worried about height. Oh. No, it's only a centimetre and a half. Okay, okay, then it makes sense to go with the big ones. Plus, I don't know whether I've got enough little ones for outside. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Outside priority. Okay, so if we're going to go for big ones, which you can always get a few extra of um if we need those are quite hard to get hold of but these are readily available everywhere now which way do we go that yeah. way so as you come in yeah or, to, or, to or that way as you come in uh, i think maybe like this no exactly it'd be nice to line them up with the roof but as you come in you're going to need them yeah. perpendicular so yeah. I'm going to get on with that pretty soon, mm -hmm. uh, tiling this room, because it's a quick thing, probably get it done in half a day, <laughs> and then it's done. Speedy Gonzales. But yeah, it goes down really quick. Cyril's going to have to keep up mixing, or, or my new aid, you know, you know, whoever I get, whether, whether it's a man, whether it's a woman. Oh, you never know. You lucky thing. You, you want a good assistant. Yeah. No, uh, we need we need we definitely need somebody to to help, but uh, we need to figure out what we're going to do about that. Yeah, we still got a few days. Yeah, four <laughs> days to go. Five, five yeah. maybe. No, five, five. Yeah. Yeah, we'll figure something out. I'm sure. Might have a little surprise up my sleeve for that one. Oh, I can't wait to see. Ed, the lights on the floor. I understand the ones on the side. Yeah. But the two sticking out at the front there. Mm -hmm. What are those for? Well, I made a bit of a booboo on those. Basically, I was going to get the same lights as the sides and mm -hmm. have them shining up on the wall and shining up in the thing. But you just said that that one could be a trip hazard, couldn't it? Yeah. So what we're going to do is these two here, mm -hmm. we're going to get like, they're about this big, uh, basically, and they're like uh, ground floor lights. So you get, all you see is a disc of, stainless steel oh, nice. with a light inside so i think you can get more interval now so we're going to get two there that are just um flat fla i don't know what the english word is like with the they're going to be in line with the tiles basically so uh oh, that, I'm looking forward a little bit a little bit more work but the concrete isn't that thick here and it's not that dry yet so i'm just going to get the machine now and and cut a hole now so that we're through it easy um and then these uh, cables can just be pushed into the hole. Um, you're bound to make mistakes when you do such a big build, so normally I don't make any, but... Uh, but then I haven't been able to be here as much, so... I know, I know, but... Um, you didn't notice something, did you, on your way down? No, what is it? You just wandered on down. I know they're a bit dirty, but look, I've put the steps in. Well, I saw that, but you've done the, you mean you've done more than putting the steps. They're like pretty much almost finished now. Well, thanks to Cyril, yeah, he's brushing yeah. them all off, getting them thing. So there's a bit of joint still to do, but they're almost done. They're looking good. Bravo, Cyril. Ed, mm. the progress is amazing. We're lucky that Cyril is still here. Yeah. But what are we going to do when he goes? Well, you're going to have to find a new assistant. Yeah, a guy or a girl. Whoever would like the job. Okay, well I've got a little surprise up my sleeve on that one. Oh, looking forward to seeing it. All right, you go get Charles and Emma. I've got still got quite a bit of work to do here, so I might be back late on, like seven, eight o'clock tonight, something like that. Okay, see you tonight. See you later. Bye. Bye. So I've arrived at Kultura. I forgot the name, but yeah, I've arrived at Cultura to try and find Cyril a little going away present and to thank him for the time he spent with us. Um, on that note, I think I've come up with a solution to the whole um, kind of 
work colleague situation because it's not some Villeneuve is not something I'm going to be able to finish on my own. Um, so yeah, I've I've got something coming up. I think maybe tomorrow we might be able to to kind of reveal what's going to go on on that front. But I think I've come up with a great solution, and I think I've got somebody that's going to work really hard. So let's see what I can get for Cyril, and we'll talk about that tomorrow. So they had what I want, wanted to get Cyril, um, and now I have to nip to Castorama. <laughs> Just a never-ending shopping trip, this. Uh, but now I have to nip to Castorama to get some cork, like a cork um, kind of insulation or board. Basically, I've got Cyril a map of France. I don't know whether that's going to be the right way around, but anyway. Um, I got Cyril a map of France. It's about 1 meter 20 by 1 meter 40 and um, and yeah, so it's about what, 4 foot by nearly 5 foot? And basically what I want to do, I want to put that on corkboard, stick it down on corkboard and then give it Cyril with some pins so that when he goes on his travels he can pin where he's been and and also for like looking at maybe going from example um, somewhere up north like um, I don't know Cherbourg down to say La Rochelle or something like that, he he'll know how long it takes and 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 things like that. I think on your phone, yeah, you can kind of gather what you want to do and things like that. But it's still really interesting to have a big uh, French map at the same time. Um, doesn't have to think about folding it up and he can hopefully just pop it somewhere in his van um, that's quite easy to uh, to access and put away um, so yeah I mean obviously we're going to give him a couple of other presents but those aren't things that we can really talk about on this uh, on this network it's not it's kind of frowned upon so we can't talk about that but we, we you know we, we you can imagine um, some other things for him to maybe drink um so yeah uh so yeah he's gonna have a few extra extra little presents anyway but this one is really something that i want to take a bit of time to to do for him um and hopefully he'll find it really useful if he doesn't well i've just wasted a bit of money and a bit of time but there we go i'm gonna nip off to castor armor now Dad. Yes. are you back yeah how long have you been back in what About five minutes, something like that. What are you doing, if you don't mind me asking? Well, you know how I'm crafty. <laughs> you are crafty, yes. I'm making Cyril a little going away present. Oh, that's nice. What, What is it? A painting of you? It's a sticky board. No. Sticky board. No, I'm, uh, I'm just sticking this insulation. It's for underneath... Um, Parquet, you know, like, uh, not parquet, but you know, the clip. Hard, uh, the floor. Yeah, the floor that you clip in. And uh, basically, so I've got a map this size. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to stick this on here mm -hmm. and stick somehow stick the map onto that plastic, the kind of insulation. Mm -hmm. And then when Cyril goes away, he can put little pinpricks where he's been and he can figure out where he wants to go. Because, you know, when you look at things on the phone, it's never the same as looking at a big map, is it? No, so is it like going away? Well, that's very thoughtful. What was that? Eh. Uh, okay. I just didn't think this would be so thick. It's like no nails. Ah, oh, it's very... But apparently it'll probably do a good job of sticking it. So I managed to get a map, I didn't know. But it was a map that was... Uh, trying to get it right, right in the edges. A map that was actually one meter twenty wide mm -hmm. by one meter. Mm -hmm. The insulation is one meter twenty wide, so that works quite well. Oh, this is very and good. So I just got this board cut. It's only a cheap board, but it's just as a backing rail, really, isn't it? So yeah, that is very sweet. Well, I think he's excited about it, isn't he? So he is. <laughs> he doesn't just like. <laughs> Leave it, it here. Away. Before you can get on one side, what the hell's that crap? No, it's it's very thoughtful. Well, of course he wants to have a bit of a celebration with his friends, so we'll be probably... I don't think we're part of that crowd, are we? 
<laughs> we're but being, he'll be he'll be having a drink, I'm sure. So we'll provide him a little bit of that too. Yeah, we'll give him a like a going a, another going away present. Because this is your surprise to him. Yeah, he's probably guessing. What? Oh, oh, thanks. Uh, I think he'll we... like it. It's very thoughtful. Well, it's just going to be so well made as well. That's the thing. I know. You're the master craftsmanship. Yeah. So the idea is that the pins stick in this. I thought it was a bit thicker, but I'm not going to walk on it because I saw that some of them had indentations. So this is like straight away stuck, apparently. I'll give you a hand. And I think just maybe put it in the dining room and then a bit later on. Cut, trim off the top and the bottom, mm -hmm. and then uh, stick the rest the of map. it. Well, I'll look at the map. Oh, oh is I'll the map there? Oh, hold well, on. Well. So that goes together? Yeah. I mean, it's fits in. I yeah. don't think it'll make much difference to the map. No. The only thing is, I've got wallpaper paste. I have wallpaper paste mm -hmm. for sticking the map to this. I'm just wondering whether it's actually going to work. It should do what I thought, no? I think so. I'm going to have to have a read of the instructions. I love reading French, I know, it's so easy. Yes, you do. This is the tricky bit. I'm not very good at fiddly bits. Well then I'll stop filming you and then I'll give you a hand so we can get it right. So it should uh, should dry now and uh, should be good. Let's hope he likes it. Ed, mm -hmm. I can see something there. We got a little something in the post. Oh. Shall we open it? By magic, it was open very quick there. And I think it's something for the kids. Oh, this is amazing. Oh no, it's really, really kind of people. Yes, it's a book, Emma. We have little Emma here that is ready to have dinner and she's crocking on some burger bread. Is it, is it good, Emma? Is it yum yum? So Susan has sent us a book for the kids. Um, oh, that is really sweet because both love to read and I'll read it to them tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do the thing where you pull the paper away from your eyes. I'm going to put my glasses on. Susan, dear Anna and Ed, here's the long promised children's Dad. book that I thought of as I watched you dig on your vlog. Hope the children enjoy one of my favourite children's books. Oh, this looks... Oh, what's so the name it of it? Mike Mulligan and his steam shovel. Well, I'll read it tonight to them both, because every night I read them a book. Well, I tell you what, it's a, nice, it's a nice long book. You, you might get four or five nights out of this, Anna. Oh, Charles will love it. Charles will be itching to read the lot, but Emma won't really figure out what's no, going and on. She's she'll, gonna... be, she'll be ready for sleep before the end. Yeah, she's gonna she's gonna love the book. Yeah, Charles is is uh, on his reading at the moment, anyway, isn't he? So yes, he's she's coming really. Oh, here he is. Talk of the hey, devil. Hey, Bonnie, there's a book here for you and Emma. A lady called Susan has sent this for you. She said it's a really good book. What do we say, Bonnie? Thank you. Oh, it's really kind. Look, it's a steam shovel, so it's like a steam digging machine. I'm not going to ruin the book for you, but yeah. it seems steam yeah. mini digger kind of thing. Shall Mummy read it to you tonight and to Emma? So, um, Susan's saying thank you both for sharing your vlog. Well, you're welcome. Um, it's amazing how, how both you work. My book. Is it a book for Emma and Cha Cha? Mm -hmm. Shall we read it tonight? Mm -hmm. <gasps> Look at this. Oh, no, she won't give it now. And um, basically, all the best for the new year and hoping that things get to, back to normal for all of us. Oh, thank you so much, Susan. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Shall mommy read it to you tonight? No. Shall daddy read it to you? No. 
Shall, shall mummy read it to you? No. Shall Cha Cha read it to you? No. Is Emma gonna read it? 